first time in American history, we're living through four crises at the same time. A public health crisis. The U.S. set a new single-day record for coronavirus infections. An economic crisis. Devastating unemployment not seen since the Great Depression. A climate crisis. The impact of climate change is dangerous, and it is already being felt in the United States. And a national reckoning on racial injustice. We need a team that's up to the task. Leaders who can rally the nation to fight this virus. To not only rebuild our economy, but build it back better. To address the threat of climate change. And to root out systemic racism. Together they'll lead America, unite America, and heal America. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Because a united America will be a better America. Joe Biden, and I approve this message. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimro Kakodash. As you see, this is a like a campaign video for um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and um, it's, it's entitled Heal America. Joe Biden for president 2020. And um, I found it interesting that he said, heal America. Okay. You know, how, how are you going to heal America when, you know, you stated, you know, it was stated in this video that there was a, a, a health crisis, you know, there was an economic crisis. There was a, a, a social injustice, you know, and there was a, a, a climate crisis, you know. How are, how are you going to heal America in the midst of all these crises, man? In the midst of of all this turmoil, you know. He also said that he needed a team that would that would rebuild America, you know. And whether or not this guy is going to be the president, you know, that's the official results are yet to be um, announced. We still know that he's not going to heal America. And what they say is not according to to the truth. It's not according to biblical prophecy. Thus, meaning these are they're false leaders, okay? And, and we know that they're they're Edomites. The spirit of the Most High and His Son Yahweh Shai have revealed to us that they are the wicked of the earth, and all they do is lie. So, how can they unite? How can they lead and unite to build a better America, to heal America? Okay, when when America is is uh, prophesied to be destroyed. Now, I want to start here. I found it interesting. He said something to the effect of uh, climate. What do you say, climate? Uh, to fix the climate. How are you going to fix the climate, man? You know, this is uh. Matthew 24, Salakia. This is Matthew 24 and uh, 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And there's been uh, rumors that uh, the United States was going to go into war with uh, Iran. You know, that that will happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Iran is a key player, okay, in, in, um, in the book of Ezekiel that is going to come up against uh, America, okay? But that hasn't happened yet, okay? So, yes, you hear of wars. Over the years, you've heard of wars, you know, and, and, and they've just been rumors because they haven't, uh, that World War Three, that third, that third woe hasn't hasn't officially come to pass yet. Okay, it says, "See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation." Okay, you had Kim Jong Un; he's been brandishing uh, nuclear capabilities. You know, saying that uh, you know, he he he'd push a button. You know, uh, if he had to. You know, uh. President Donald Trump was calling him Rocket Man, you know. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. China, you know, China, China has been a, a, a 
accused of, of uh, doing cyber attacks and things of that nature. You know, so so there's been kingdoms, man. There's been nations rising against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines. Okay, there's famine in uh, um, in Puerto Rico. You know, I believe there was one in uh, in Venezuela. We know that. You know, there, there's 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 famines in, in certain parts of the world right now. It says and pestilences. You know, and the coronavirus is is, is a pestilence. You know, and, and the, the, this is what's happening. You know, and, and it's starting to touch America. Okay, these prophecies are are are, are touching America. Strong's G three thousand sixty one. Loimas. Loimas. Right, it says plague, literally the disease or figurative a pest. Okay, so yeah, plague, a disease. Okay, coronavirus, corona, the rona, a, it's, a, it's a virus, man. It's just, it's just, you know, it's a pestilence. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. There was just an earthquake in Turkey, you see. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So all these things that are happening are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. So th there's no way, okay, you're going to turn back what the Heavenly Father has set up for this place. You know, that what you know what he has set up for the world. Now, when you read here in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Okay. Babylon, Asia, Egypt, and Syria. Okay, and this is this Babylon is really it, it's it's speaking of America. Okay, it's speaking of America. Okay, it says, "Gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand." Okay, the Bible says that Babylon, Asia, Egypt, and Syria, their destruction is at hand. Okay. So how are you going to heal America? You know? How are you going to heal America? Fifth verse, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? So the, the, the you know, your, your economic crisis, your health crisis, you know, the climate, you know, and what's been going on with the climate. Well, that's biblical prop prophecy, man. You know, we just read earthquakes in diverse places. You know, we you know we, we read that you know there, there there would be calamities in the earth. You know, it's going to go on to say, you know, the social injustice. The, the scriptures speak about uproars. All these things are written. So how are you, how are you gonna how are you gonna heal America? And it says plagues are sent unto you, and what is and what is he that may drive them away? You see. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Okay. 18 verse, the beginning of sorrows. What's going on in the world? You know, all these Black Lives Matter movements. You know, all these uproars of the people throughout the world, you know, and, 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 and what 2019 was called the, the year of protest. OK, and that's synonymous with uproar. So all these things are going on in the world, man. So how, how are you going to heal the world? How are you going to heal America? These things are happening in America. You know, people getting shot, you know, mainly you Negroes, man, which, you know, and you Latinos, you know, and you Native Americans, man. They had that big thing when they tried to build the pop pipeline in Dakota. Was it South Dakota, something like that? I forget. They were hosing down the natives on the on the res. You see, all wh why do all these things happen to you, so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans, man? You know, might you you know might you ask? Well, it's because you are the, you are the Hebrew Israelites. You are the biblical Israelites. 18 verse, 2nd Ezra 16 and 18, be the, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. You see, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death. Okay, this is this is what's coming. But, but, but what you see right now is just the beginning. So how can you heal America? Okay. We know that America is spiritually Babylon. Spiritually Sodom, spiritually Gomorrah. Okay. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay. 
Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Okay. So what these guys are promising in their campaign, they're not going to be able to deliver because they're just men. You see, the Most High Yahweh, okay, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, are, 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 this is their plan. The, these, these famines, plagues, tribulation, and anguish, they're sent as scourges. Okay, scourge is a whip for amendment. Okay, it's it's it, it's it's to get it's to get right it's to get you right. You know, it, it's for a recompense. It's for it's for a reward according to evil actions. Okay, of of, of the heathen, and and also two thirds. Okay, of you Jakes, you Israelites. It says, but all, but for all these things they shall not turn from the wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. There's going to be a lot of people that are not going to turn from their wickedness. Even when all hell hits hit, hits the uh, the fan, there's going to be people root, uh, uh, looting, okay, rioting, raping, robbing, murdering. You know, it's it's really going to be up some people's alley in that day. It, what what's going on in the world? It's going to be right up their alley. It's like it's like what they wanted. They want you know some people want to live in complete chaos. Esau, Edom. He has a saying, order out of chaos, order of ab chaos. You see, it says, nor be always mindful of the scourges, right? Some people, you know, something could happen and they'll, for, they'll forget tomorrow, man. They're not mindful of the scourges, of the whippings, okay? But us, brothers, that are in this truth, man, we're mindful. We, we, we see what's going on to the spirit. This is Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. See? What does the scripture tell you? Flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. Leave. You know, come up out of her is what it's saying. You know, come up out of the ways of 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 of, of confusion that, that, that America has to offer. It says, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. You see? You have to flee or else you're going to get caught off in her iniquity, man, in her sins. This is a sinful kingdom. This is this is a very confusing uh, world where lies and deception and, and wickedness, okay, seems to prevail and seems to be the norm, okay? M m the society is decaying morally, you know? It says, for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, you see? He's going to render unto America a recompense. You know, the whole the whole uh, election seems to be, you know, a, a, a big joke. It's a hoax being being um, being portrayed right in front of the 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 American citizens, man. It's it's a game. You're going to tell me in the year of 2020 when technology is at its greatest they cannot count votes they, they they don't know who won the election come on man come on you're gonna tell me that trump tweeting and and, and and his behavior that he's not gonna leave the white house is is not orchestrated or when they had that debate when Trump told Biden that his son was a cokehead, like that, like like that, that wasn't something out of a soap opera. That wasn't um, staged. Like, come on, man! It says Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Because ultimately, Babylon, which is America, is is like a model, okay, for the other nations. OK. All the all the presidents, all the elites, OK, that use the that, 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 that run America because America's one big corporation, you know, you, you know, the, 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 they really been set up, man. How about Shimei Shai sets up kings? OK, he sets up the basis of men over kingdoms, man. You know, so what these devils are doing, the Heavenly Father actually set them up to do. The scriptures say the wicked um, was created for the day of evil. 
Okay, so what they're doing, them deceiving the nations, them them uh, uh, influencing the world, and so-called putting democracy, you know, in, in other nations, man. That that's all. That's all for. That's all part of the heavenly Father's plan, man, to ultimately judge you heathens. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad, right? The nations, they want to be like America now, you know? Nations don't want to hold on to their ways. They, everyone wants to be Americanized. Everyone wants to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, on TikTok, you know? Everyone wants to... Uh, you know, be be like be like the Jakes that are here in America. Everyone's trying to follow, you know, the so-called good old American way. And Jakes, you know, are lost into the in the sauce in America. You know, the whole do as thou wilt. You know, the whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, you create your own destiny, and 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 you know, all these things they push in America, man. These these other nations really took it. You know, two thirds of you Jakes have really took into it. You know, the the you know be all you can be. You know, the, the land of prosperity. You know, and and really, it's all confusion. And and once the once the nations have found out, okay, that that's not the way to govern yourself. You know, they they're they're mad now. They're angry. You know, it tells you here in a. It's, it tells you here in 2 Corinthians 16 and 1, woe unto thee, Babylon, Asia, woe unto thee, Egypt, and Syria, right? It says Asia. Now, when you come to the 15th verse, the 15th chapter of 2nd Ezra, what does it say here? Let's see. Let's see, what, what was it? Okay, yeah, here. It says, uh, let's see. Mm. What was it at? One second. 46. And thou, Asia, thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her person. You see? Asia is the partaker of the hope of Babylon, you know? Asia want to be like Babylon, you know? Asia meaning what? You know, Moab and and and, and uh, Ammon, you know, and, and all them Asian countries, they want to, you know, they want to, they have the hope of Babylon, that they're going to be a great nation, you know, because over there in, in, in China, man, they have that, uh, you know, they're closer to the mark of the beast than, than, than America is, you know, they don't, they don't, they use, uh, they don't use dollars anymore. They don't use paper money, man. They they use like your phone, the phone, and and they got this uh, behavior credit system where you know they got cameras everywhere. That, you know they're 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 in full swing of the the NWO. You know the, these Asians, these other countries, they want to be uh, uh, like the Illuminati, you know. But but these these devils rule over them, you know. And, and once they find out that these devils aren't gonna let them rule, and they're gonna they're gonna subjugate the whole world, you know, they're they're pissed, you know. You got some countries that they, 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 they don't want into, into the Illuminati, you know, like Kim Jong-un, you know, he, hey, he's he's separate, man, you know, C certain countries, they don't have a Federal Reserve, you know, they're, they're still like doing their own thing, man, you know, they're going to be the ones to come up against America. It says, woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, you see, they, they, they have drunken, you know, of, of that Babylonian juice. You know, and it's all the Heavenly Father's will that America gets great in power only to be destroyed, man. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have desired to commit whoredom with thee. Right, they, they commit all kinds of trade, you know. They, they do all kinds of Disney backdoor deals and, 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 and become become rich, you know. America and, and, and Asia and other countries. You know, but it tells you in, in, in uh, Revelation 18 chapter that, that, that uh, when America is bur bur burned, the mother countries, they're going to look at you and like, damn, that great city in one hour is destroyed. And the merchants of the world, you know, those that buy and sell, they, they, they're going to be like, man, we lost money. You know, that has followed her. That is hated in all her works. You see, they that's Asia. They followed Amer uh, Babylon, America. 
that is hated in all, in all her works and inventions, therefore say it the most high. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sore, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. Okay, so wh wh where are you healing America, man? No, wh where are these Christian pastors talking about healing the world? Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. You see? What is what 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 is balm? Balm is like a, an ointment that you put on 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 um, some pain, okay? Like an icy hot, but but you know she's not going to be able to be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. Right? They're trying to. Uh, they're talking about what to lead and unite everyone and to build a better America. You, you ain't going to unite nobody, man. People going to want to leave this place, man. People want to get the hell up out of America when they see all, he all hell hit the fan and go to their own countries. Let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yahweh has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh, our power. And this is what we're doing. We've woken up, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And we're declaring, okay, in Zion the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know what he's going to do. A couple scriptures out of Jeremiah 51. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea. You know, those uh, Chaldea were the wise men of Babylon, which is, is speaking about the elites. Okay. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith Yahweh. So they're going to be paid for, for what they've done to the saints. You know, we know that they're going to uh, bring out that mark of the beast. You, you know, we know there's going to be civil unrest. And we know that they're going to want to. Uh, um, well, we know that there's some men are going to be martyrs, man. You know, but none, but nonetheless, you how about Simeon Shai? You know, he, he, the, they shall rise first. Okay. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith Yahweh, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and will roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. You see? So, Babylon is going to be burnt, you know? Because they destroy all the earth, man. You know? Let's see. Let's get another book. Uh, scripture in my bookmarks. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 33. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. You see? You know, the time, the, her end is going to come. We know the harvest is speaking of the end of the world. But Babylon's harvest, Babylon's end is, is coming. Okay? And she's going to be like in a, in a threshing floor, man. And that's where they used to separate the 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 grain from the wheat, you know, and the, and the, and the ox or, or the cattle would, would have something tied to their back and they would, they would, they would, they would, they would step on it and separate the, the grain from the wheat, literally speaking of, of beating this place down. Okay. Let's see. Forty-five, Jeremiah forty-one and forty-five. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. You see, so the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. You know, he he's telling the Israel. You know, the the election, those that can receive it, and those those that can 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 didn't know that this is prophecy uh, 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 in the written in the scriptures. You know that that it is it is it is figuratively speaking of America. My people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh, and lest your heart faint and ye fear of the rumor that shall be heard in the land a rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a, a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler right and, and, and it's been known it's coming out year after year these prophecies is is being is being it's being spoken of Let's see what it says Right, but do not pan panic. Do not be af don't be afraid when you hear the first rumor of approaching forces. For rumors will keep coming year by year. Violence will erupt in the land as the leaders fight against each other. You see, 
Right. Year by year, there's going to be rumors, man. There's going to be violence in the land, rulers against rulers, man. Because really, hey, uh, 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 really, they're divided, man. These Edomites are divided, man. They they hate everybody. You know, they hate they hate their own people. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. You see, there's a lot of images, man, especially out there in, in you know Washington D.C. and in different places back east. You know, well, all over. America, really, but, you know, they got a lot of images, man, the Georgia Guidestones, you know, them phallic symbols, the Masonic symbols, you know, the, this country was, was founded on, 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 on Freemasonry and secret societies, man, but what do you, how was Shai said, I have done nothing in secret, okay, so the Lord's going to destroy all the graven images in Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, right, because the Heavenly Father, he's going to take that, he's going to take that wisdom, you know, you know what I'm saying, he's going to take that power that, that, that they seem to have, which the Lord you know, gave them on the left-hand side, and they, they're going to be confounded. They're not going to know what to do in those days, man. But they're still going to fight, but they're not going to know what to do. And all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Okay? Let's get a couple more. A couple scripts, then I'm going to end it out. It says, So Jeremiah wrote in the book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all these words that are written against Babylon. And Jeremiah said unto Sarahiah, When thou comest to Babylon and shalt see and shalt read all these words, then thou shalt say, O Yahweh, thou hast spoken against this place, to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that I shall be desolate forever. You see, because if you're not written, okay, to make it, you know, ultimately you're going to be destroyed here in America. You know, and it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book, thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of Euphrates. And thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. And they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. Okay. Where do these people get off saying they're going to heal America? Who knows, man? But thus are, thus far are the words of Jeremiah. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.